back to our story time about alligators and crocodiles. Our second story today is called Snapsy the Alligator. Words by Julie Filatko, pictures by Tim Miller. Snapsy the Alligator wasn't feeling like himself. His feet felt draggy, his skin felt baggy, his tail wouldn't swish this way and that, and worst of all, his big jaw wouldn't snap. This is terrible. I'm just hungry. Why is this rude narrator trying to make it seem like I need a nap? So Snapsy went off in search of food. He walked along the edge of the pond. He scooted up the tall, tall hill. He shimmied through the forest. You're an awful narrator. You're just describing what you see in the illustrations. Scrappy the big, mean alligator kept looking for food. He liked to eat tiny, defenseless birds and soft, fuzzy bunnies. He prowled through the forest looking for victims. When he came to a... It's just a store. A grocery store. It's where I buy my food. Snapsy looked hungrily at the other shoppers. While loading his cart with pudding, peanut butter, pita bread, and popcorn. Yes, Snapsy the alligator was particularly fond of a certain letter of the alphabet. I don't only eat food that starts with the letter P. You don't have to make it seem like I only buy storybook food. I'm also buying cheddar, apples, pretzels, pasta, pears. It's just a coincidence. Snapsy the big, mean, hungry alligator, who only liked food that started with the letter P, carried his groceries back through the forest, back down the hill, back around the pond, until he got to a surprisingly lopsided shack. Oh, you really are cheesing me off. It's my house. I built it myself. I'll say. Snapsy the alligator took his groceries into his splinter-laden shed and slammed the door, quite hard. He was inside. Still inside. What was he doing in there? Was he making crafty plans? Was he roasting innocent forest creatures that he already had stored in his freezer? Had he fallen asleep? I made a peanut butter sandwich and now I'm reading a book. Well, you have to come out. The story is really boring now. If you must know, I'm planning a party. Snapsy the alligator, trying to better his reputation with the other animals, decided to throw a party. Snapsy vacuumed the rug. He made goodie bags for all his guests. Wait, those aren't goodie bags. He's just taking out the garbage. Snapsy should really put out goodie bags for his guests. They love those. You know what? I did not ask to be in this book. I was just having a normal day. And suddenly you were talking about what I was doing. So I'm throwing a party to make things more interesting. I hope you're happy. Now I just want you to buzz off. Thank you. Oh, go ahead. I can hear you breathing. Snapsy's party was shaping up to be quite a festive event. Colorful streamers hung from the ceiling. There were cubes of cheese and a bowl of punch. Some kind of danceable music was playing. Then Snapsy's friends started to arrive. They were laughing and dancing. They weren't hungry or thirsty. They looked like they were having a really good time. Yes, a fine time indeed. Oh, all right, you can come in. Oh, gosh, me? The humble narrator? Well, I don't know. Let me check my calendar. I suppose I could come for an hour or two. Someone has to demonstrate proper dance steps. All the important guests had finally arrived, and while Snapsy's sharp teeth were still glinting menacingly, he was actually a lovely host. Does anyone want pudding? Aha! Because pudding is really good. And we all ate pudding and did the chicken dance. We were really looking forward to Snapsy throwing parties like this every week. Hey! Thanks for joining us for Alligator and Crocodile Storytime. We'll see you again next week.